children welcome to the class it is our english class after the vacation it's our first class so hope you will enjoy the class now today we will learn about i my and you and your today we will learn about i my and you and your so when we use i i indicates to one self to one self that means to our own first person that is first person i used for first person that is for our own self that is one self so i we use to indicate the first person okay first person i is used to indicate first person i to indicate the position to indicate the position of i that is if i am having something if i am having something that means that this is a pen if i am having the pen this if this pen is mine then i will say this is my pen this is my pen so it is a position when i have something i have something then we will use my for the position my for the position position of i my for the position of i okay so i is used to, for first person that means to our own self and my is used for position of i that means if i am having something i will say this is my pen this is my book this is my umbrella this is my bag i will say like that so that is indicates a position having something okay so when when i have something i will say that this is mine or my and and i my you and your these are all pronouns okay noun for indicates name and when we use something else for the noun that means which word we use instead of a noun then we use pronoun that that we call pronoun and i my you and your are also pronouns these are all pronouns okay pronouns when we use i i use for first person and it indicates the one self it indicates one self okay it indicates our self one only one self it is i and my is used for position okay now tell me when we will you and your in the same way you is used for second person you is used for second person number singular or plural both use you as for second person and your it is the position it is used as a position of you that means if you have something then you i will say this is your book this is your bag this is your pen if you have these things that is you is used for second person and your is used for the position of second person okay to indicate the position of second person position of you now look at here look at here let me look at your book you will see these lines have a word it is a boy holding a bat and a girl holding a ball right the boy holding a bat and the girl holding a the boy holding a bat and the girl holding a ball now what is this the boy is saying i am raju the boy is saying i am raju and this is my bat this is my bat and the girl the boy is also saying you are 
are Sheila. You are Sheila. This is your ball. This is your ball. Again, the boy is holding a bat and the girl is holding a ball. The boy is saying, I am Raju. The boy is indicating himself. So, he is saying, I am Raju. Here, I is first person. And when he is saying that this is my bat. See, I and my are in red color. That means, my is used for I to possess, to indicate the possession of I. Okay. So, this is my bat. And when the boy is saying, you are Sheila and this is your ball. So, for you we are using your and for I we are using my. Okay. Hope you have understand. Now, look at the next sentence. You, the girl is holding a doll and another girl is holding a pen. One girl is holding a doll and another girl is holding a pen. Now, the first uh, the girl who has holding the pen is saying, you are Payal. That is your doll. And the girl is saying, I am Kavya. This is my pen. Hope you have understand now. For I, we use the position. When we need to introduce the position, we use my. And for you, when we need to introduce the position, we use your. Now, see the next sentence. The girl has a mobile and the another girl has a book. One girl has a mobile and another girl has a book. Now first for the girl who holding the mobile says, I am Pooja. This is my mobile. And the second girl holding the book. She is saying, Pooja is saying, you are Maya. That is your book. You are Maya. That is your book. You will read this page at your home. Thank you for watching.